Diagrams below show the upper jaws of some fossils. These diagrams are drawn to scale. Um, describe one visible difference, only one visible difference between the jaw of a chimpanzee and that of a homo sapien. Homo sapiens, which show trends in human evolution. One visible difference, you can um, talk about the jaw, you can talk about the large spaces between the teeth, you can talk about the canines. Um, let's see, I'm going to write over here. So the jaw, they didn't ask us to tabulate. Okay, so that's fine. The jaw is large in chimpanzees chimpanzee um since remember you are comparing the difference here so the jaw is large in chimpanzee you need to tell us the size of the jaw in homo sapiens and it's actually small in homo sapiens um we can talk about the large spaces or no spaces between the teeth so large spaces between between the teeth um, in the chimpanzee chimpanzee and you can say we either have small or no spaces um, between the teeth of homo sapiens okay um, you can talk about the canines, guys. I'm going to write it somewhere here. Um, large canines for chimpanzees. Um, and small canines or small teeth. Small canines in homo sapiens. Um, they asked us for one, but I remember I'm just giving you um, the answers here. You can also talk about the jaw um, being rectangular in chimpanzee and round or rounded in homo sapiens. Okay, three, one, two. Based on the differences in dentition, what conclusion can be made about the change in diet? We are talking about dentition. The differences in dentition what conclusion can be made about the change in diet from astro australopithecus afarensis to homo sapiens for two marks now the diet this indicates to us that the diet changed from eating raw food with australopithecus to a diet of cooked food in homo sapiens okay so this shows us that the diet changed from eating raw food in astro australopithecus to eating cooked food eating cooked food in homo sapiens you write it in full okay 313 australopithecus may be described as a transitional species between a chimpanzee and a homo sapien define a transitional species for one mark i'm just going to change color here for one mark um a transitional species show intermediate characteristics between two species or you can say um, these are species that have characteristics that are common to both the ancestor species and the species that it follows Okay, but I think the first one um, is an easy one to remember. So, a transitional species 
shows intermediate characteristics characteristics between two species okay last one use one visible feature of the jaw to explain why a afarensis may be described as a transitional species <sighs> okay um there's a way to answer this so use one visible feature of the jaw to explain why a afarensis may be described as a transitional species so Let's talk about uh, the jaw first. The jaw is smaller than that of a chimpanzee. Yes, that's how you need to answer this. Let's talk about the jaw. The jaw is smaller than that of a chimpanzee, but larger than that of a homo sapien. Or you can talk about the teeth. The canines are smaller than those of a chimpanzee and larger than those of a homo sapien. Anything to do with transitional species, guys, when they speak about the features, this is how you need to answer. Okay um let's start by talking about the jaw the jaw is smaller than that than that um of the chimpanzee but larger than that of homo sapiens two marks at the end or if you spoke about um the canines guys i'm not going to write it down but you will say the canines are smaller than those of a chimpanzee so meaning the canines of the a afarensis are smaller than those of a chimpanzee but actually larger than those of the homo sapiens